Alright, Sonny here. Um, let's go over Head Over Heels by Accept. Uh, that's a really cool riff um, in the beginning. Intro and the verse. Uh, solo is great too. Solo is uh, one of my favorite uh, by Accept. Anyway, <clears throat> beginning is all harmonics. Uh, we start on the fifth fret harmonics. Um, basically, you put your. Uh, uh, I use my middle finger. On the seventh fret, basically you put it right between uh, the seventh and eighth fret, and slightly touching the string. On the G and B note, you start from the uh, on the seventh fret on the B note, and the seventh fret of the G note, and you play the uh, twelfth fret of your B, twelfth fret of your high E. And you do the fifth fret of your G. And then uh, seventh fret of your B. And I use my index finger to do the fifth fret of the G string. That way, I, I can use my ring finger and do the uh, twelfth fret on the high E string. So the first part goes like this. Okay. And the second part, uh, fifth fret, uh, seventh fret of your B, seventh fret of your G. 12th fret of your B and an E, 5th fret of your G, and the 7th fret of your B, and the 5th, 7th fret of your G, and then the 5th fret of your B string. Okay. Remember what you do, Hamadi, barely touching the string, and you pick it, and then you lift up your fingers right away, so. And you it has to be like right between the frets. Well, I say seven frets actually between seven and the eighth, and this is the little metal uh, fret here. Okay. So again, beginning part. Next part goes like this. Um, so. All right. Uh, this is a C sharp minor. Uh, basically, it's a C sharp power chord. You put a pinky. All right. So uh, you start from the fourth fret of your D string. I'm, I'm sorry. Start from the uh, Start on the fourth fret of your D on the A string, and then you play the pinky uh, on the seventh fret of your D string. So down, down, up, down. So down, down, up, and then down on the seventh fret of your D. And then you go, and then go down up again on the uh, A string, and the next time you play the sixth fret of your. Uh, D string. So again, begin. All right. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay. That part, what I do is uh, I go, I double down up. I, I play t pick twice on the fourth fret, and then twice on the seventh fret of your A string, and then play the sixth fret of your. Uh, D string. All right, down, up, down, up, down, down, up on the fourth fret, down, up on the seventh fret, and then down on the uh, sixth fret of your D. So so far we have this. All right, again. And the next part is similar, but uh, we only pick the. Uh, Instead of doing double on the seventh fret, just do one time down and then down on sixth fret later. Like 
Alright, so if you put both together, it sounds like this. Alright, the next part goes like this. Alright, uh, open A string. So down, down, up. It's the second fret of your uh, D string. And then down up again on the A string, open A string. And play the B power chord. And then you play down up on the uh, second fret of A string. And then you play the uh, fourth fret of your um, uh, on the D string. So it goes like B chord. And then you play down up on the second fret of your A string. Fourth fret of your A, uh, D, and the fifth fret of your A, and you shift up using the index finger play on the fourth fret of your um, A string. You play the same riff again. Uh, so again, uh, you play slowly that part right there. Again, slowly. Uh, open A first, open A string. Open A again, B power chord. Second fret of your A string. D note on the D string. I mean, on the fourth fret of the D string. Fifth fret of your A string. And then back to fourth fret of your A string using your index finger. So the the riff so far we have this. Oh yeah, the, the last part goes like this. You play the fourth fret of your uh, low E string, and then you play really fast sixth fret on the D, fourth fret of your D, seventh fret of your A. 6th fret of your A and then you go back to the main riff again uh, so uh, that last part goes that last part goes like this Fourth fret of your A and then 6th 4 on the D and then 7 6 on the A I do it down on the 6th fret up on the 4th fret down on the 7th fret of your A and up on the sixth fret again on the A. Uh, so the riff goes again is like this. And play it slowly again. So that's the riff, and then uh, if we have some time later, we can talk about a solo. It's a long solo, but it's very, very nice solo.